Hello guys, this is Zuma and welcome back to the forest. So guys, there's been a new update. We are now in version 0.42 and as always, we're going to go in through the main changes in these patch notes. But if you do want to see the full list of the patch notes, there will be a link in the description if you want to check them out. So to jump straight into it, we have a, a new tree regrow mode, it says here. So if you want your trees to regrow back, you need to type regrow mode in the title screen to activate or deactivate. When enabled, 10% of cut down trees will grow back each night the player sleeps. Uh, only stumps will regrow into trees, so if you want trees cleared in some areas, for example inside your base, be sure to remove the stumps. So, finally, you know after every single update the trees don't grow back? Well, now you've got the option for them to regrow when you sleep. And if we go up here, this is where I chop down a lot of trees. But I'm unsure whether to enable this or not. It would be nice having the trees to regrow back, but I do a lot of my chopping off camera, so it won't really affect you guys too much. But it does look kind of depressing the place, doesn't it, with all the trees chopped down like that. But I guess what would be really nice is to have some of the trees that I have around my base to grow back. Just because I'm hoping to probably build some kind of tree bridge network. And it would be nice to have some of the ones I've already chopped down back and then we can unable it. So then all the trees that I cut down from then uh, don't grow back. But I don't know, I guess it's whether you're really into the full immersion effect or not. So I guess when you chop a tree down it doesn't automatically sprout back up. But there's also another mode to enable which is called Wood Paste. So if you put this in the title screen it will reset all the floor and roof holes in a saved game. So I like that they're adding all these vegan modes, vegetarian modes. It's allowing you to customise your own games how you want it. So there is also a new uh, meat eating animation that has been added to help with immersion. So you know we were talking about the, uh, the tree immersion before about them not sprouting up. Well, I guess we'll see what happens when we eat this. <sighs> Not that hungry, but we'll see what happens. Oh, man. There's also been a bug fix, which the birds don't spin in a circle no more, which I guess is good. Come on. Cook lizard. Uh, what else is there? So as that's cooking, oh, it's done, actually. So let's see what he does when he's eating it. Ah. Okay, that's a lot better than just it going straight in your belly, I guess. Uh, so, we have uh, new poison effects. When shot with poison arrows, enemy movement is slowed and damage output is reduced for a short time. This is especially helpful for some of the game's faster enemies. That is awesome. So, remember when the poison arrows first came out, they was ridiculously overpowered. Then in the next patch, they had a massive nerf. And now they seem to uh, be useful again, that they can actually slow down enemies, which will be really good for those like faster cannibal enemies. And also, if uh, Amzi or Virginia are going to eat you, then uh, it will be a lot slower. I think that's a bad one, actually. Yeah, it's a full yellow one. Uh, so let's make some poison arrows. Uh, I've got... Five. You can only do five at a time now, but I do have some twin berries. Oh, I don't have to... Old habits. I can just go like that to get rid of them now. <laughs> There we go. So we got a we got a few poison arrows. Let's try it out. We just need to find an enemy that's worth using a poison arrow on. Something that's fast. Oh, hey, you're pretty fast. Oh shit. Ah. Why is the grey one moving like the starving cannibals? There you go. The big grey ones don't move like that. Ah, you're still fast! You're supposed to be poisoned! Whoa. Why are the grey ones moving like the starving ones? Just calm down. This isn't slowing him down. Holy shit, he's green! <laughs> he's turned into the Hulk, I've made him angry! Oh, they've added that! Do you remember when we said um, to do something like that when the poison arrows first came out? You're supposed to be slower. I want, I want to make the other one green. Oh, got him though. <laughs> oh my god. You want to be green as well? I've got to keep moving. I got him. Yeah, you didn't dodge that very well. They're all green. It takes two arrows to make him green. It's like dealing with a lot of hooks. They are dying though. Oh. Maybe they are. 
Holy shit. That is awesome. Do you remember when the poison arrows first came out? We were saying how if they had like green veins going through them or something to show that they were poisoned, that would be amazing. Let's get up close to them. That's a bit too close. You weren't hitting me again though. Yeah. Look at him. It's probably the simplest thing to do ever just to make him green when the poison, but I think it's really good. Hey there. Oh, are you bowing down to me? Oh man. Look at this cannibal! Are you seeing this? They know I am the king of the forest! <laughs> Lady! Oh. Look at your leader! Look at your leader! He's bowing down to me! That means you should, right? I win! Now just go and get to me and everything will be good. Oh, we have a rebel. She's immune to arrows. He's still bowing. He's still bowing down. Is he praying or...? I don't know what this means. Look at your leader! I'm shooting you in the ass. Oh, we're on normal arrows now. Whoa! What? You got up there ridiculously fast. Let me get some more poison arrows. I love poison arrows! Oh, this is my last match. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to go get some more twin berries. Poison arrow mud. Yeah guys, so that is the new poison arrows. Best update in a long time. I love these. Whoa. What was that? Are oh, you? He's a leader as well. I'm gonna leave him. Um Yeah, just tell the rest of them to get in line, okay? And then we'll be good. You, lady. Oh, you're fast. You are a rebel. Is he going to get back up? He's still kneeling. <laughs> I don't want to leave him. Come on. You can... Oh. Oh, he goes whichever way I go. He is definitely kneeling towards me. Is this you, Steve? Why don't you come and join me? <gasps> don't want to be a cannibal. I'll save you. I'll keep you safe from the bad people. <laughs> this is insane. Right. Get away from him. Oh. I don't want to hurt him. You can come with me. Can I move you this way? You look at me this way. Come on, Steve. Unfortunately, we can't listen to those CDs on your back. I only have a cassette player. Whoa. Get away from Steve. He's a good guy. He doesn't want none of this flesh eating no more. I'm sorry Steve, I'm going to have to leave you here, just keep doing what you're doing, stop eating flesh and uh, I'll see you around, later buddy. Man, if all the cannibals start bowing down when I go to fight him, that would be pretty good, make my life a lot easier. Yeah, so that is the poison arrows, really nice update. So, and um, what else has happened? Uh, the log sled can now also be used for transportation of up to 58 sticks. When sled is empty, hold a rock or stick to place the first and thus select the carrier item type. Okay, so we can fit 58 sticks into one of these log sleds now. Let's try it. So this is my little stick building area. Be interesting to see what 58 sticks actually looks like in this. I wish you could hold 15 sticks. You can hold 15 bones. I should be able to hold that many. So, at the minute, I think we can choose which type we put into these. Right? Do I have to hold it first? Oh. Okay. 
10. Yeah, so now one stick has been added, there's no option for the rock or anything. Can you add a mixture of rocks? I have rocks. No. Okay. This looks like you can fill a lot more than 58 though. Let's see what it looks like with 58 sticks on. I haven't been counting. <laughs> I don't know how many this is. I'm just going to keep going until I can't add no more. And that is it. We're done. Okay. Let's bring this into the light to have a better look. We can fit more sticks on this. <laughs> Why 58? They always pick really weird numbers. I reckon we can go for the full hundred on this. Come on. I think we can. But this will be useful if you're building your stick fences. You'd have to always come back to your stick holders now. Would be good if you could also store bones in the uh, log sled as well. Because uh, building the bone fences is a bit annoying always having to go back to your bone baskets. In fact, I've got a good idea. They should just call this a sled and allow you to store anything inside them. You know like you can do with a catapult basket? So you'll be able to store skulls in there, um, arms and legs from chopped up cannibals, because there's nowhere to store stuff like that. How's the bone fences doing? Oh, this cannibal's a bit confused. That's yeah. no, alright. We're good. So I was a little bit worried because this new update that says here, uh, enemies will now attempt to jump up onto structures built low to the ground to get to the player. I'm hoping that this doesn't include my bone walls. Try and tease him a little bit, see if he tries and jumps over. Come on. Some effigies over there. I know they can jump off the stumps and rocks and things like that to get in. And they can also jump in from the trees as well. That's probably one of the bad things about having trees around your base. Get this out just in case. Um, it does say something about traps. Uh, the deadfall. The happy birthday trap, swinging rock, noose, rabbit, and fish traps now cost one stick to reset. I don't even have a stick. <laughs> I put them all in. Look at this. What the? I have never seen that effigy before. Don't think so, sneaky cannibal. Oh, oh there's also a reason why we can't do the Zuma specials no more. He's not dead. So there's a reason every time when I'm trying to jump and slice him into loads of pieces, it's not happening. It's because there is uh, something wrong with it. It says, fixed jumping attack sometimes not registering hits on enemies. So I think we're going to have to order uh, one portion of the Zuma special in this episode if we can do it. That umbrella is wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Look at that. That's weird. I almost don't want to destroy that one. You've seen this before. Saw some mushrooms. There we go. They're the good ones. So who's ready to explode some cannibals with this samurai sword? Let's do it. Thank you. Get out of the way, squirrel. Things are going to get nasty. Come down here. We go. One portion of Zuma special coming up! Yes! Oh! And that's the particle effect from the exploding enemies. Come on! How you like that? Let's go again. Come down here! Holy shit! Zuma special is back! Are you hungry? Oh, not yet, not yet, not yet. One more order, please! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is the greatest thing in this game. That little red mist that's left behind is brutal. Let's go. I don't know what bits that is. Oh, it's his head. Oh, is that his brain hanging out? That is nasty. Still got to work out how they do actually explode just using the samurai sword. It's all a little bit weird.
But that uh, new particle effect, I guess that's from the red mist. Oh, man. <laughs> right, that was worth doing. Um, okay. Oh, we did two in a row as well. So good. Uh, so the next thing we have has something to do with the hole cutter. It says, um, it's quite strange actually, it says, Also fixed some weirdness with holes on sides of floors and roofs not perfectly conforming with hole area. Might have an impact on look of previously made building or holes. But uh, what is this? It's like a little diving platform or something. I can't show you the difference between the hole cutter before and after, but let's see if we can use the hole cutter to get rid of this tiny little bit sticking out. I don't know where this has come from. Whenever you save and load up the game, things tend to be a bit different when you load them back up. This might be a bad idea actually, I don't know what this is going to do. <laughs> I'll be damned! I wasn't expecting that to be uh, so perfect. Yeah, so you can uh, use the hole cutter to do a little bit of trimming around your base. So now onto the roof. So we had a lot of problems with this in the last episode, but I want to run something past you guys. So you probably remember when I made this out of custom stairs, uh, it was all in strips. So there was one going this way, one going this way, and then when I removed this one, we could see down below us, which sort of created a nice balcony effect, I guess you could say, but inside the house. I don't know, I kind of liked it. When we were struggling to fill this gap up, someone actually mentioned is why do I actually just leave this triangle gap? So if I mark it out with a bone fence, this is what it's going to look like. And also, to try and make this work, I would have to have this red log always showing, which if I have to walk over it all the time, it's going to be quite annoying. So if we did remove this, then we'd walk through, there'd be a hole there, we'd be able to see through to the balcony. Although we wouldn't have this nice little cross effect, but I don't know, it's rather having the cross effect or having a balcony. So it's just getting rid of this, and not having that red log cross. I think this would be amazing. Having a balcony inside our house looking down at the door. Of course I could always jump over as well and it would be an easy access for me to get outside. I think that'll just take our base to the next level. Let me get rid of this. Oh, should I do it now? Should I do it? I did it guys. I'm doing it. I'm committed to it. We're now going to have a little bit of a building episode as well as an update. Because I want to put this bone fence down to see what it's going to be like, but I'm also going to be putting some uh, rock walls down as well. So I guess that's one thing just on a one track mind. I was so consumed last episode with just trying to fill this gap. I didn't see the possibilities of just having an awesome balcony in your house. So right, let's put the bone fence down properly now. Now I know where the actual edge is, if we go like that. Trying to line this up is a bit of a pain. That's the thing, trying to make everything perfect. That's perfect, perfect. Ah, good. <laughs> Look at this. So we're going to be putting some walls all the way around as well. So this is going to be my bedroom, guys. I know a lot of you was asking where am I going to put my bed, and this room is hopefully going to be it. We're going to have a bedroom with our own balcony. I don't know, it depends when I'm finished to see how much space we have in this room, actually. I could either have my bedroom in this room, or the room above. You need to just stop it a little bit before. Like that. Perfect. Got to make sure we don't cover the door. Got to stop this a little bit before as well. About there. Yeah, and then it just like nips out a little bit. I'm just looking at the two walls, see if the edge is on the right line up. It's pretty close. Okay, so that's 80 rocks already. Why stop there? Get the base rock walls down for this room. Just got to stop it a bit before because it expands. Don't you guys think that this building mechanism is so fiddly? Doing these layouts, it's just... Ah. Oh, it's pretty good. We're at 132 rocks. Bring it on. I don't know if this is going to be much of a bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I could put my bed here maybe. What about having some kind of door here going out to another balcony that I can wrap around the outside of the house? It's all possibilities, guys. I'm really happy with this. This has just opened up everything. 
This is exactly what I wanted. I was just blinded by the challenge of trying to make a flat roof, I think. What do you think, Peanut? Are you happy? He doesn't care, he just wants to keep warm. There you go. Man, we've got a lot to do. Should we start with the bone fence first? 34 more bones. A lot of bones. Um, see if I can make it daytime. It's going to be a long night. Yeah, another lizard. This should keep us full as we're building through the night. Well, we'll get in there, guys. I like it. I like it. Oh, one more. This is really cool. I know it's been a lot of trial and error with this roof, but I'm really happy with it. Imagine if I can do it on the third floor as well. We'll be able to see right up. Looking good. Everything looks nice in this firelight. So I'm only going to put this base down and then we'll do the rest later, I guess. 127, so can I jump over this? Oh. Look at that. So we'll start from over here, as always. Don't know why. Because we're weird. Um, can I use a stick fence to get up from here? Oh. I can just jump. Okay. No point uh, starting from the end. We might as well go from here. Jump on it. I'm on it. Yep. Awesome. Jump on the stick fence without falling in the water. There we go. Last one. That side done. Just gonna do around there now. This is gonna take ages. It's not an easy shortcut to do this. Just go all the way around. Just glide, glide, glide. Three sixty. <laughs> Not that much to go now. One more. I think I might be able to make it daytime. Come on. Yay. I don't think sunrise was that far off actually. Sun's risen quite a bit. How's everything doing here? Oh, did they just disappear? Oh no, I just missed my chance. Stuck up on blueberries. We might as well collect some as well. I'm really keeping on top of these blueberry bushes. You need to keep a good rotation going. Uh, just a little tip I've found. Sometimes it's quite hard to collect them. If the icon ain't coming up to collect, guys, I always crouch. Helps me. And there's that. Nice. Oh, another day. Left the door open. Last one. Look at this. 
Hasn't that just changed the whole dynamic of the house? Let me know what you think. I would really, really love to know what you guys think on this. So I think it looks great. I'm hoping you guys do too. Just trying to think now, is there anything else that I need to do? I'm just going to put some walls up around this stairway area. It's been annoying me. It's kind of open when it's supposed to feel a part of the house. So I'm just going to put a couple of walls up. Come on. Oh. <laughs> 13. It just needs to go a little bit further. It's kind of funny how long I spend on each one of these things trying to get this right. Come on, I just want the one line. Oh, no way. Is that straight? That is good enough. <sighs> Patience is a virtue. <laughs> After this, I almost want to put some more rock walls going around the stairs. I'm up to uh, two and a half hours recording now, but it's going to probably be a bit more of a longer episode. Depending on how I cut it down, though, I always... Uh, I always managed to get it down to under a half an hour or around about there, hopefully. I don't know why, I was like walking in and out of this place now. I was gonna go up then. Whilst I have it. Yeah, that's good. Let's enclose this stair, shall we? So you guys were mentioning there, uh, why don't I use the sea to put down the custom floor as a roof? My sea doesn't work. Unfortunately. I can hold down C as much as I want, but it won't work. So I'm going to have to do it all manually. This is going to be tough. I can use my raft to help me. Oh, we're going to be talking about the raft soon, guys. Don't worry. It's had a change in the new patch, supposedly. Get rid of that. Come on, raft. I can do it from down here. Look at the raft bobbing everywhere. That raft is always fighting against itself. I don't know whether to be a submarine, an airplane, or what. I think that's alright. Please go straight. A little bit's going to add to the end. That is pretty good, I think. So we'll put these in, that's about the last of the building. So everything's just about complete, guys. I put a third layer of rock wall on that one. Um, there is another one that's supposed to go, as you can see, just on the third layer of here. But uh, it wasn't really working, so I'll probably do it off camera. But yeah, so we've done quite a bit this episode. Let me know what you think to the new house changes. Oh, we're uh, cold. Okay, we'll get the torch. Oh, would help if it had some cloth on it. Let's try this. Alright, calm down. So in the next episode, we'll be building up and finishing off this second floor. I've got extra motivation now just to try and see what else we can do in this house. Uh, the last and final update that we've got to go through is, it says here that the raft has had some new buoyancy settings. So we know that this raft doesn't know what the hell it is. It's rather a submarine, a snowmobile, or an aircraft. So I want to know whether the magic raft is still a magic raft. So later house. Maybe we are going to be flying away. Have they patched it? Is it a magic raft? All you got to do is believe. Are you a snowmobile at least? No? Oh. Gollum. I don't know what's happened to my snowmobile. Gollum. That is the most depressed looking cannibal I've ever seen. Nothing can keep the magic raft down. We have a snowmobile. Still on the water, of course. And an airplane! <laughs> Man, I love this thing. When I find Timmy, this is how we're escaping. This is the furthest I've ever gone. I thought I'd come and visit the yacht. <laughs> but anyway guys, this is where we're going to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, rate, and support this series. And if you got this far, put 
aim for the bushes in the comments. Hope you know what that means. If you don't, hope you find out. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.